Okay, so this is my blog on how do people move on to a new relationship, not even a new relationship, but a new person so quick. Um, okay, so I've been noticing that in any community, there is an epidemic, I guess you could say, of people going from dealing with one person to immediately dealing with somebody else. Now, what I don't understand is how can you go from dealing with one person, be it in a relationship or just kicking it, well, yeah, just kicking it, talking to them, whatever, and like the next day or a couple days later, you're talking to somebody else. Now, me personally, I can't move on that quick. Just because if I'm talking to someone seriously, Nine times out of ten, I am messing around with them. And I feel like people tend to bed hop way too much nowadays. And it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, say for instance, you're in a relationship with somebody. And, you know, you really care about them. Or, for that matter, you love them, you're in love with them, or whatever the case may be, you have feelings for them, and then, you know, you say that, that your feelings are serious, and you gotta stop talking for whatever the case may be, whatever the reason is, and you meet somebody else, and you're like super into them, and you're feeling like all that same feeling that you were feeling for the previous person towards this new person. I don't get that. Because if you were, if you felt the way that you say you felt or you thought you felt about the previous person, there's no possible way, in my opinion, that you can move on so quickly. And for that matter, like, if, that, if you can, then why are you sitting there lying to them and yourself? about how you felt like that just doesn't make sense but um you know it's it's just it's so crazy to me because i have i know a couple of friends of mine that will talk to somebody for a few weeks which is not a big deal and then like a few days later or even in some cases the next day they're all like screwing around with somebody else like I don't get that how do you do that like I'm really really asking you like how is it that a person can move on and be on to something else or someone else so quick like am I missing something because it's not possible to me but I see it more and more all the time and I have this I wrote this poem called uh, The Lesbian Misogynist and it's about how women tend to get up with somebody and they're so into them to, where, to the point where they're like moving in or, or with them all the time every day and then next thing you know like y'all fall out and there are all kinds of bitches and holes and tramps and skeezers and whatever you know and like I just don't get that and then you go right back and y'all back cool and y'all messing around and then it, it's just like a never ending cycle whether it's continuously with one person or it's continuously with a multitude of people like Like, I really am. Then I decided that I needed to blog about this because 
I've experienced this in my past, and I have also seen it going on recently with friends of mine, and I just don't get it, like, how do you do that? I mean, I know that, you know, with me, when I've done it, I was already on my way out. I was already on my way out of the relationship, and I used to have, like, a lineup. I used to have bitches on the bench so that, you know, if this didn't work out, that's okay, because all I can just put a new player in. But, you know, you at some point, I feel like you have to grow up, and you can't do that, because, as I said before, you know, AIDS is alive and well. And you can't, even being a lesbian, you can't be bouncing from one person to another. Like, I don't, I don't know. I haven't done anything, like, since, I haven't done anything since I broke up, I, I, since my last relationship. And it's just crazy to me to see how other people can do it. I haven't even kissed anyone. I mean, I speak to people on the phone, and I go out with people, but... I can't even get close to you like that because maybe because I feel like I'm just not ready for that and I know that when I start liking someone I really start liking someone and when I start loving someone I love hard and it's no possible way that you can love someone hard and then you know just turn around and be like oh whatever and uh, like put your everything into something and then on top of that like people tend to rush into things and they they complain about how oh well I rushed into this relationship with this person or I rushed into like getting serious with this person and like oh it was a big mistake like we skipped steps we didn't we weren't friends we weren't this we weren't that and then Hell, you turn around and you're doing the same shit with the next bitch. Or the next nigga, for that matter. Like, I, I don't get that. Like, how? Like, please, somebody, like, help me. Because this shit is really fucking crazy. I mean, how the fuck? Like, it's like, okay, you sitting here and you chilling. You all happy. And you like, oh my God, this is so great. Like, I'm digging this person. And they're so great. And I, I like everything about them. And then the next day they do something to piss you off. And you like, fuck them. And you're on to the next person. Like, how do you go from like, fucking this person to fucking that person without feeling like you're a whore? I mean, you're, that's what you are. You're a fucking whore bag. And there's no, there's no excuse for it. Because all you're doing is making yourself look bad because your, your sexual partners are just going, that number is going up and up and up. And I know it's a lot of people out here who already have a lot, a high number of partners. And, you know, some people are in the hundreds. Some people are in double digits in a short period of time. And it's like, I'm sorry. I just can't even be putting my mouth on somebody or letting somebody put them, my, their mouth on me. Especially when you're not monogamous and they're fucking around with somebody else and you're fucking around with somebody else. Like, oh my God, there's too much juices and shit going on right there. Like, this, ugh. Ugh. That's just terrible to me. That's so fucking terrible. Like, what the fuck is going on in the world today? What's going on in the world? I mean, somebody please tell me that shit. Because what the fuck? How can you fuck somebody? Like, okay. Okay. My thing is, I feel like, me personally, if I, fought, if I stop dealing with somebody, then it's going to take some point. It's going to take a little time for me to get my mind to where I have to, I can commit myself or even give myself my all or my focus to somebody else. Like, I don't know. Like, at this point right now, like, hell, 
I, I think at some point you need to have a little time to yourself and to get back into you because most people come out of themselves and aren't even the same person that they aren't the real them when they're dealing with somebody. They compromise and do certain shit and, and they're like, I feel like when you do that, you're just not happy with you and you can't be insecure and you can't be so needy and dependent on somebody else that, oh shit, hey baby. Um, you can't be like, okay, I'll, say, I'll talk to her in a minute, but you can't be happy with yourself, and you can't be happy alone, like, if you can't be happy alone, like, how the fuck are you gonna be happy with somebody? If you need somebody to, com co to complete you, or somebody to occupy time, like, that's some bullshit. I really need you guys to, like, comment on this, and let me know what you think, because, uh, video comment text anything somebody please just just help me understand how the fuck is it so easy to fuck around and move on so quick that shit's crazy to me but this your girl cove girl and i'm out